Yo, what's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing back at you with another one. I don't know what the... Man, that's, that shit crazy, man. So, uh, according to Los Angeles Times, former boxing great Oscar De La Hoya is accused of two instances, instances of sexual assault in a civil suit filed Wednesday in Los Angeles Superior, um, Superior Court by Tequila Company Executive. So, apparently, I don't know if this was the uh, same situation where dude was... Just, using these fucking utensils and shit. The woman alleges, <laughs> alleges that during a trip to Mexico in March 2020 to, uh, oh, okay, this is the same thing, uh, to visit the Casa Mexico Tequila di- Distillery, De La Hoya banged on her hotel room with his pants dropped down his ankle. Then he pushed his way into the room, got in her bed, according to the lawsuit. Lawsuit, I'm sorry. She pushed, fr- she pushed him from the bed and walked him to the door and opened his door and immediately returned to her to return to her own room the next morning de la hoya wasn't present when casa mexico group assembled the, to tour the distillery and the woman went to his room to wake him she alleges that in the lawsuit that de la hoya pulled her into his bed where he sexually assaulted her de la hoya who was partner to the company assaulted her again when the group returned to los angeles the woman alleged a group of Casa Mexico executives that included De La Hoya and the woman dying at a restaurant then went to De La Hoya's house. At some point, when De La Hoya was alone with the woman, he revealed and retrieved a sexual object from the store collected in his house. Without her consent, uh, De La Hoya forcibly inserted the object into her body. That shit fucking sick. What the fuck is wrong with De La Hoya, bro? The Times does not publish the names of the victims of the alleged assault. De La Hoya released a statement Wednesday denying allegations within with the 24 hours news cycle. We can all find ourselves in more often than not malicious and just uh, and unjust situ- uh, accusations are interpreted as the truth without evidence to support their in I don't even know this word something claims. Uh, I am confident in my legal that my legal team will resolve this matter and prove my innocence. So, man, I don't know. Listen, I don't know what the hell De La Hoya got going on, bro. But De La Hoya, bro, do be on some other shit. I, I mean, obviously, we know that he be coked up and shit like that. But De La Hoya be on some other shit, man. The thing, I, man, I, I just, man, De La, you gotta, De La Hoya as a boxer, you gotta like, bro, like De La Hoya as a boxer, he fought everybody. Um, he didn't duck anybody. He, you, he, he, as a boxer, he was an all time great. You gotta respect that. But as a promoter and a person, bro, dude, just seemed like a fucking, like a dweeb, bro. Like, I don't even, man, like, dude, I don't know what to call that, man. Like, bro, this dude. The thing I used to hate about De La Hoya, bro, is dude would be so fucking jealous of Floyd that you could even see it. Like, he wouldn't even try to hide his jealousy, bro. Like, when I remember when Floyd fought uh, McGregor, De La Hoya would make this long-ass... He made this long-ass letter talking about why Floyd... Uh, why people should not buy Floyd versus McGregor and all this shit, bro. Or, dude, like, every time... Like, he would just constantly just nag on Floyd. You could just tell he was never over the Floyd situation. He just constantly badmouth Floyd and all this type of shit. And it's just... Just like, bro, like, you be like, fam, like, get a life, bro. Or, you know, and then later on, he tries to fight McGregor. Uh, you know, it's just stupid stuff like that. Like, or, like, um, just trying, like, you know, I remember he, he, he told Earl Spence, man, Earl, if I promoted you, you'd be doing such and such. And, and Earl, like, clapped his ass and was like, nah, bro, you don't even, I don't like how you handle black, uh, your black fighters, bro. Like, nah, bro, so... De La Hoya be on some other shit, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Listen, the man was caught in fishnets. The man was doing cocaine. I remember one time he was all coked up. He was getting out of the car and it was like me. He was like, man, if I come back and fight, you know who I'm gonna fight? They're like, man, who would you fight, man? Who who you plan on fighting in your return? Because he was talking about returning and shit. He was like, man, I'm gonna fight Triple G. And then walk right into the car. Like, man, they, what the, they look, they, shut, shut, shut up, nigga. Just shut up. You know what I'm saying? Just shut, 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 shut your mouth. Shut, no, shut. What, what do you say? What do you say off of, um, Stub Brothers? Shut, wait, shut, 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 shut your mouth. No, shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Like, bro, De La Hoya be tripping, bro. Like, I don't even, I don't, I just, like, dude be tripping, bro. De La Hoya be tripping. Listen, I, I don't know what dude got on. I, I, I don't know what he got with these women. I ain't surprised. 
that shit disgusting. You stuffing shit up there, but that shit nasty, bro. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what type of. I don't, I don't know if they have brands of cocaine and what type, if they do, what type of shit he was on. But, uh, that shit ain't, that shit ain't cool, bro. Like, that, that shit is not cool at all. Like, that shit ain't cool at all. And, uh, De La Hoya be on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? He be on some other shit. So, I, I don't know, bro. Listen, I don't know what they got planned on doing, bro. De La Hoya need to get himself together, bro. Like, um, he just, I mean, he need to focus on his fighters, bro. Like, he need to focus on his fighters. He need to focus on Brandon Ryan Garcia and um, trying to get him to be a better version of him because Ryan Garcia, like, nobody even takes that man serious anymore. You know what I'm saying? He needs to uh, focus on, on, bro, he has, your boy, he got Zerto Ramirez, bro. Like, that's something that people don't even talk about. Zerto Ramirez can be such a, such a bigger fighter than what he is. And De La Hoya, like, nobody even talks about dude, bro. Like, I just feel like De La Hoya has made, like, wrong business decisions uh, for the sake of his fighters. I mean, he took his fighters to the zone off the strength of Canelo um, back when Canelo was with Golden Boy. And, bro, nobody talks about his fighter. Jaime Montgill was on a, like, uh, he, bro, before uh, they did that uh, uh, the zone shit, bro, Jaime Montgill was on a roll, bro. Like, people were, like, he was up and coming and all that. People was trying to talk about him. Now, don't nobody talk about him. The only time people was really just talking about him was is when a fight was being offered for him and Jamal Charlo, and which De La Hoya then proceeded to turn down. So, it's like, bro, I just, I don't really, I, I promise you, bro, like, I don't really, um... I don't really, I don't really, uh, like, I don't like what De La Hoya, um, I don't like what dude is, uh, is, is doing with itself, with itself and his company, man, like, bro, focus on your fighters, bro, and stop trying to do all this extra shit, bro, even though this was in 2020, and I think I really want to say I heard about this before, but, bro, dude, De La Hoya just be tripping, bro, you got, and you had, at one point, bro, De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions was the shit at one point. Golden Boy Promotions was the shit they had. And I heard, and this is what I heard from the grapevine, I heard that it wasn't even De La Hoya doing the work. It was really Richard Schaefer that was doing all the work. But, bro, um, I heard that, um, bro, at, at, I mean, you know, bro, at one point, bro, they had, think about this, bro. The PBC, everybody that you see with the PBC now was with uh was with De, uh was with Golden Boy when Al Heyman was working with Golden Boy, bro. Like, bro, and 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 then what was that? 2000 and what was that? 14? I think it was 2014. They made the big split. Richard Schaefer left and Al Heyman left and took his fighters with him, bro. All all fighters left except for like Canelo and shit, bro. Like De La Hoya had a man, dude had a man, dude had a Golden Boy was the shit. I just put it like that. Golden Boy was the shit. At, at one point, at one particular time, bro, I promise you, Golden Boy was the shit, bro. And De La Hoya was, uh, De La Hoya was, was like, they was on top of their shit. But De La Hoya fucking up business moves and shit like that. You lost Richard Schaefer. The main reason Golden Boy was successful, successful from what I heard. Successful from what I heard. You know, you lost all, uh, Al Heyman. So with Al Heyman losing, you lose all your stable of fighters. Like, bro. De La Hoya gotta he gotta do something because bro Golden Boy man it, it ain't it ain't gonna be too much longer before they don't have much I mean they, who they got they got Virgil Ortiz who's up and coming but shit he done, he he got some shit going on with his body where he couldn't um, fight Jaime Montgomery who ain't doing jack shit ain't fighting nobody bro I think the biggest name on his resume is uh, Gabe Rosado who they got Gilberto Gilberto uh, Zordo Ramirez. And that shit pisses me off. The fact that the top rank, Zordo was with Zordo Ramirez was with Top Rank at one point. Top Rank didn't know what the hell to do with him. Or I don't know. He had legal issues with them. So Top Rank does what Top Rank does and put him on the shelf the same way they did Mikey Garcia. Um and 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 then he finally gets released from them. Golden Boy signs him. I'm like, I'm like, that's a good ass, that's a good move from Golden Boy. Let's see what they do with him. And shit, they not really making much noise with, with Zerto. And Zerto, man, dude, he gonna be something nice. He can be something nice. So when they got Ryan Garcia who fucking turns down every big fight that he can possibly name, like I don't know what they're gonna do, bro. Like Golden Boy better get it together. De La Hoya, but he needs to get it together for his damn promotion. But anyways, let me know what you think, man. You know what you think about De La Hoya, his situation. What do you think about Golden Boy promotion? Like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know? <laughs>